Track Rod Rally Yorkshire marks the end of an action-packed season in the BTRDA. And this weekend will be no different either, with battles still to be had in most categories. It will be gloves off from the start. Charlie Payne took the early honours. He had the championship in the bag, but the co-driver title was still to be settled here. Carl Williamson now in prime position to take that home with him this weekend and join his driver on the top step of the podium. Carl's closest rival for the co-driver's title will be just 21 seconds behind, though. Stephen Petch and Michael Wilkinson struggling a little with anti-lag problems in the opening stages of the day. The Group N fight will be another to be decided here this weekend. Richard Hill taking the lead there, but not in line for the championship. That task would fall to Russ Thompson. He needed a good result here, but not necessarily victory. So the drive this weekend will be a calculated one, and one which needed managing. In the Silver Star, it will be Gavin Edwards leading after the opening stages of the day. And indeed, he arrives back at service as our new Silver Star champion. His battle this weekend will be with current champion Boyd Kershaw. But sadly, Kershaw rolls the car on the opening stage of the rally. In the 1400s, it was Jordan Hone's championship to lose this weekend. No doubt feeling the pressure and hearing every noise from the car as he leads the way and tries to ensure that he reaches the finish. The return of previous Rally First champion Joe Evitt would be where second place in the 1400s would be at this stage. 34 seconds back from home. And in Rally First, it was looking good for Dominic Hodge. He was favourite to win going into this round, but it was a tough event and he still needed to push to the finish. Over the next stage, there wouldn't be any change at the top. Charlie Payne still doing what he needed to do for his co-driver and indeed for the local honours. The Silver Star would see some change though, Gavin Edwards dropping down the times and retiring soon afterwards. The dry sump reservoir in the boot of the car coming loose. He didn't want to cause any more damage or risk what could potentially happen with something like that. So the lead in the Silver Star for this weekend now belonged to Phil Burton. On to the final stages of the event, and the rally first would see a change. Richard Wells taking victory this weekend, but that didn't affect the championship overall. Dominic Hodge taking an emotional second place this weekend, enough to give him the championship victory for 2016. In the 1400s, it would be plain sailing for Jordan Hone, meanwhile. After an up-and-down season, the championship was finally his, taking victory here over Joe Evatt, but the championship title going over the water to Ireland. With Gavin Edwards taking the title in the Silver Star despite retiring at the final round, it left Phil Burton to take up the lead position. He held that to the finish, a good end to a mixed season for Burton. In the overall results, we wouldn't see any change at the top. Russ Thompson walks away this weekend with the Group N title, and it will be a good result of third place as well for Phil Pickard. Despite some issues during the day, hopefully this result will see him campaigning the car full-time in the BTRDA next season. And frustration for Michael Wilkinson. It would have to be second place in the event overall, and indeed, that was how the co-driver battle would end up as well. Himself and Stephen Petch not managing to take the victory they'd come here looking for in Yorkshire. So for this weekend, it would be victory for Charlie Payne, securing his co-driver Carl Williamson a place by his side as 2016 BTRDA champions finishing on the top of the podium at the final round. You can catch full coverage from the BTRDA this Friday, the UK's most current and inclusive rally coverage. Keep an eye on our social media for details.